The technical quiz is an element of our daily gun show and some of our other projects that we do online. The other day during the daily gun show, CloverTech won the tactical pop quiz, and one of the elements we've added to the quiz is the play at home feature. So CloverTech uh, was playing for uh, one of our Patreons, and that Patreon turned out to be Enrique Sonora, a friend of ours from here in Tucson. And uh, a couple of things happened. So first, CloverTech uh, picked a patch for himself, and he picked this uh, airborne mess with the best, die like the rest patch that we had uh, purchased at a surplus store in Wisconsin, Madison, Wisconsin, if I remember correctly. And then he donated it to the prize pack. And he's playing for, he picked his, the Patreon supporter, Enrique Sonora. So Enrique's getting that patch. Enrique then picked a patch, and he picked a vanilla gun show loophole uh, donut. And this is uh, from the 2016 tour. Uh, we did donuts as the theme that year. Now, Enrique is a uh, patron for a while now and a uh, supporter of the gun websites, projects since before gun channels, and any of this other stuff's been going on and uh, here in Tucson. So we're going to throw some... Uh, extra stuff, specific stuff, into his uh, Patreon pa uh, perk, I guess, Patreon uh, prize pack. So first off, all three of our Arizona state uh, flag patches. So it's in the shape of the state, but like our flag, we did them in uh, the colors of our flag and then in a green and in a tan sand color. And uh, I know he's already has some of those. He's bought some of these at the store, I'm pretty sure, in the past. But... Uh, he's in Arizona, so you can always use a couple of extra patches. Uh, because he uh, asked for the Gun Show Loophole Tour uh, donut, I'm going to send him a ticket as well. Now, we've been on the tour for a few years now, and one of the things we do is, is check out gun shops, firearms museums, and important shooting uh, events and uh, things like that. So we got a couple of different patches in this uh, giveaway going to Enrique. we got a patch from a shop in Illinois, Gat Guns, really cool gun shop. We've got another shop in Cody, Wyoming called the Cody Firearms Experience. This is a rental range and gun shop. Uh, they also have a, a plinking alley and competition shoots, uh, place for meetings, really cool uh, gun shop. We've got a patch from the Citizens Committee to keep and bear arms. This is in, uh, well, this was, uh, we picked this up in Chicago at the Gun Rights Policy Conference as well as the Second Amendment Foundation's new logo patch. Uh, we've got the NRA Whittington Center, which is their big shooting center out in New Mexico, along with a museum. Um, let's see, we've got a couple. Is that the rest of the patches? There might be some patches thrown in there, but let's get into stickers. We've got the 2017 loophole sticker, uh, the 19 and the 18, and thanks to Angelina from Owl and Anchor for doing those. We also got a pro gun as swear keychain going to Enrique. Thanks for that. We've got a power bank. This looks like a shotgun shell, but it's a power bank, and this comes from Rango Guns in Illinois. Purchased this uh, last year, going up to the Gun Rights Policy Conference. Got some stickers here that are just random, so I'll just start throwing some of these out there. These were just accumulated along the way at Shot Show, gun shows, and things. Uh, just a bunch of logo stickers and brands. Uh, he's got uh, vehicles and gun room and range bags and uh, rifle cases. Lots of places to put stickers so just a whole bunch of different stickers here that'll go into the package. Uh, because we've been on the tour uh, to, to uh, support and to uh, find out uh, interesting places in the country. Got a lot of different brochures here that we'll include into the pack and this is just to help spread the word and give you a little taste of the tour. We've got the shooting center in Las Vegas, one of the rental places. Got the uh, museum in Cody, Wyoming. The 45th Infantry Division Museum in Oklahoma City, one of the coolest gun museums that I've visited so far, especially for military firearms. We've got Bill's Gun Shop and Range. This is a, a um, there's a couple of shops uh, around three different states. 
and we visited a couple of those. We got the Cody Dug Up Gun Museum, my favorite museum in Cody, Wyoming. Very cool. Uh, free museum. Very neat way to do business. We got the Texas Ranger Hall of Fame Museum. You might not think a Texas Ranger Museum is going to have a lot of guns, but you'd be wrong. They have a lot of guns in that museum. We've got that uh, Clark County Shooting Complex up in uh, Las Vegas, just north of the city. Uh, great shooting complex up there. We've got the uh, membership info from Gun Owners of America. I'm sure he's already a member, but he can pass that along. Uh, we've got the brochure from that fire, uh, the Cody Firearms Experience. This is what the shop looks like right out front of the east gate of Yellowstone. We've got uh, the Arizona Citizens Defense League. Now he's a member and someone who goes to the gun shows, but I don't really need to throw that in there at all. We've got the uh, AZ Firearms brochure. This is from uh, AZ Firearms. This was probably handed out at the Gun Rights Policy Conference. They're not only a financial, well, they're not only a supporter and advocates, but they're also financial supporters of the, con of the, con the convention. And then we've got uh, the city of Las Vegas, New Mexico, where they filmed the Red Dawn stuff. A brochure from there. We've got a map from this year's SHOT Show. We've got a book on firearms and public policy from the Second Amendment Foundation. This is one of the free books from Gun Rights Policy Conference. Looks like a brochure from a gun show someplace. Uh, we've got a Second Amendment Foundation giant sticker. Uh, another uh, large bumper sticker from probably Second Amendment Foundation. Citizens Committee to keep in Citizens Committee for the Right to Keep and Bear Arms, which is basically the uh, precur precursor to the Second Amendment Foundation, both done by Alan Gottlieb. Then we've got the New Mexico hunting regulations. I don't know, I picked those up probably at a gun shop over there. Uh, we've got this really interesting uh, magazine, which is a magazine of all different gun shows. This is an old one from a couple years now, but you might be interested in checking that out. It's part of the Gun Show Loophole Tour. And then another uh, guide, I guess, for the Wanamaker, uh, world's largest gun show, held in Tulsa, and that's the upper and lower levels of the Tulsa show. So that's a bunch of stuff. We've got a couple of buttons, I guess, underneath of all that. Uh, I just put this button in there. It is from SHOT Show, and it is from the industry, but in case you can stick a sticker on it and use it in the vehicle. Got one from uh, the Military Arms Channel. Got a couple of those. Don't know if you already had one, but now you do. Got a random card from the uh, Old West Guns playing card deck. And because uh, you knew Oro, got a couple of the Oro decals in here. Free to use those. And you haven't met Mellow yet, but we got the marshmallow sticker in there as well. Last but not least, I want to say thanks again to Enrique for being a supporter of our projects over the years. Uh, this is the new uh, Chairs Against the Wall. Haven't even had a chance to get these up on the store yet, but of course we'll include that in this prize pack as well. This is something that's going out to our random Patreon supporters along with whoever wins the tactical pop quiz over on the Daily Gun Show. We do the Daily Gun Show every single weeknight over on gunchannels.com. Feel free to join in that conversation um, whenever possible, whenever we remember. We do the tactical quiz, and then once a week, one of our Patreons will get an extra special thank you for supporting us financially and keeping us online and able to do what we do. Let us know in the comments what you think, and as always, thanks for watching. The guys and gals of GunWebsites.com encourage you to take a CCW class every year, practice at least once a month, and carry every day. Thanks for watching GunWebsites.com.